This document is about uncertainty calculations with functions. When quantities with uncertainties are combined, the results also have uncertainties. So this is a discussion of uncertainty in functions of one or more variables. Actually, the examples will only use one variable, but it's easily extended to several. For the following example, the value of x equal to 2 plus or minus 1 will be used. So there are two methods of calculating uncertainties, inspection and algebra. Both of them will be discussed here. So the uncertainty, so if talking about by inspection, the uncertainty in the quantity essentially means the difference between its maximum value and its nominal value. So if x is 2 plus or minus 1, that means x can be as big as 3. So therefore, if we want to take the square root of x, then the nominal value is just the square root of 2, where we ignore the uncertainty, and the square root of 2 is approximately 1.4. The maximum value of the square root of x is the square root of 3, which is th the biggest th value that x can have, and so the square root of 3 is approximately 1.7. So therefore, the uncertainty in z, which is the difference between the maximum value and the nominal value, is approximately 1.7 minus 1.4, which is 0.3. So in general, the uncertainty in the function in a function is the maximum value of the function minus the nominal value. Alternatively, the uncertainty in a quantity means the difference between its nominal value and its minimum value. So going with the same example, x can be as small as 1. So again, if we're taking the square root of x, then the nominal value is still the square root of 2, which is 1.4. The minimum value is the square root of 1, which is 1. So therefore, the uncertainty in the square root of x is approximately 1.4 minus 1, which is 0.4. So in general, the uncertainty in a function is the nominal value of the function minus the minimum value of the function. So notice that these two slightly different methods gave slightly different results. So when we took the maximum value minus the nominal value, we got 0.3. When we take the nominal value minus the minimum value, we got 0.4. So because these can give us slightly different results, that why th that's why there's an approximately equal sign here. Algebra. Determining uncertainties algebraically is easiest, easiest illustrated graphically. So here we have a function, y equals f of x. So here's some value of x, which has a corresponding function value f of x. Here we have some value that's x plus delta x, which has a corresponding value x f of x plus delta x. Now normally, uncertainties are usually small compared to the quantities they're in, but we've drawn these fairly far apart on here to make it easier to show things on the graph. So now if we look at the graph again, here we have x and its corresponding value f of x. Here we have x plus delta x and its corresponding value f of x plus delta x. If we look at the tangent line at x, then the slope of the tangent line is going to approximate the slope of the graph, and so the y value at of the tangent line, when the x value is x plus delta x, is f of x, the value here, plus the rise over the run, the slope of this times the run, and so the slope, by definition, is f prime of x, and the run is delta x. So the rise of this tangent line is f prime of x times delta x. So the value of the function here is f of x plus f prime of x times delta x. So if the function is fairly linear, then the difference between these two values is going to be small. So the smaller the uncertainty is, the closer these are going to be to equal. So for the previous example, x is 2 plus or minus 1, then if we take the square root of x, the derivative, the uncertainty in the function, is the derivative of the function times delta x, so that's 1 over 2 root x times delta x, and again the absolute value signs are here because uncertainties are always expressed as positive quantities. So the uncertainty in the square root of x is 1 over 2 root x times the uncertainty in x, which in this case is 1. So if for this, for this value of 2 plus or minus 1 for x, we wind up with the uncertainty in square root of x is approximately 0.4. So to summarize, by inspection, the uncertainty in a function is the maximum value minus the nominal value, or it's the nominal value minus the minimum value. By algebra, the uncertainty in a function is the derivative of the function times the uncertainty in the value. So to recap, for inspection, in our previous example, the uncertainty in two, the uncertainty in the square root of two plus or minus one is the square root of two 
plus or minus the square root of 2 plus 1 minus the square root of 2. So it's, it's 1.4 plus or minus 1.7 minus 1.4, or 1.4 plus or minus 0.3. By algebra, the uncertainty in a function is the derivative of the function times the uncertainty in the function. So again, in our previous example, the uncertainty, the, the result square root of 2 plus or minus 1 is the square root of 2 plus or minus 1 over 2 times the square root of 2 times 1, which is 1.4 plus or minus 0.4, since the derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 times the square root of x.